Well, there was a whole lot of excitement today as a new grocery store opened in South Wichita. A save a lot moved in at Harry and Broadway, a location that was deemed a food desert for lack of grocery options. Meanwhile, though, just across town, another area remains desperate for a store. KSN's Chris Arnold spoke with city leaders from both districts. He's live at 13th and Oliver tonight. Chris? Darren, we're talking about two different areas that have dealt with the food desert issue for quite a while. Now, while the Broadway and Harry location now has a viable food source, here at 13th and Oliver, that just isn't the case. I'm standing in the parking lot right now where the Walmart neighborhood market that served six to 7,000 people in this area once stood. They packed up shop last year in January, and nothing has been put here since. There was a lot of buzz and excitement for people as the Save a Lot here at Harry and Broadway opened their doors Wednesday morning. I'm glad to see something come back into the neighborhood. It's been a long time. Two years to be exact. There was a Dillon store that was there, uh, decided it wasn't within their business model, and decided to leave the neighborhood. Uh, that really put a whole uh, service gap, you might say, for people that live there. The Save a Lot comes without incentives from local government. Thanks to a $400,000 community development block grant from the federal government that helped move the project forward. But it is a different scene just across town at 13th and Oliver, an area that saw both a Walmart neighborhood market and Quick Trip leave within a matter of weeks a year ago. If I had my druthers, we would have a store or at least a, a food uh, uh, disposition, uh, distribution area there. Levanta Williams represents District 1, where the store is left. She says she's been in contact with Save a Lot about the potential of setting up shop at 13th and Oliver, too. We're going to measure the success um, of the store uh, on the south end of town and, and see how well it goes. And then we're going to go back to, the, uh, back to the table to see if that's something that we can accomplish at 13th and Oliver. Officials hope this vibrant scene of people lining up to shop in South Wichita will soon be the same where as of now, there's nothing but a food desert. Now, I asked Williams if grant money that was used to bring Save a Lot to Harry and Broadway could also be used to bring a store here to 13th and Oliver. Williams says that is a possibility, something that she says she is looking into. Regardless, she says the top of her to do list this year is getting a store right here at 13th and Oliver. Live in East Wichita, Chris Arnold, KSN News.